Hello and welcome back to NHP, the Advanced Networking Podcast. My name is Felix and today we're going to talk about the three-way handshake and how to make that visible with TCP dump. First, let's have a look at the TCP header. We have information like source port and destination port, but we already know how to filter that out in TCP dump. Today we're going to talk about the SYN flag as well as the acknowledgement flag, the sequence number and the acknowledgement number. To establish a connection, TCP uses a three-way handshake. In this scenario, on the left side we have a client and on the right side a server. Could be any kind of server. In our example, we are going to do um, port 80, so meaning a web server. To initiate a connection, the client sends a SYN packet to the server. The SYN packet means that the SYN flag is set and the sequence number is randomly gener generated based on the operating system and we're going to call it X. The server then responds with a SYN ACK packet, meaning the SYN flag is set as well, as well as the acknowledgement flag. The sequence number is newly generated, Y, and the acknowledgement number is the old sequence number, just added with 1. And then the client is answering again with an ACK packet, and the acknowledgement number is the number Y from the second packet, just added with 1. And then we established a connection and we are ready to send data through that connection. Let's start with the bridge TCP dump. The terminal with the black background is my server. And even though there is printed Mac server, this is my client. I'm using this as my client computer. Let's start a TCP dump. Oops, I was able to write TCP dump dash NNI meaning do not resolve any host names, neither port names. Then I means interface, which is in my scenario VENet0. And I do not want to see any port 22 traffic, which is SSH. Here we go. Now what I can do, I can tell that this server, just as an example, traffic control.org on port 80. Voila, now I'm connected and we already can see some traffic here. We can see some DNS traffic to ng5all.de. This server is also a DNS server for ng5all.de. And we can see our connection from my computer, which is 178.200.210.43, to that destination, 87 and so on, on port 80. 87 is trafficcontrol.org. We see in here, that is the sequence number. We also see the letter S, capital S, meaning the SYN flag is set. The second packet is an answer packet from my server back to my client. The SYN flag is set as well and we created a new acknowledgement number, this one. And we take the old sequence number, we add one and then we get the new acknowledgement number. So that is the sequence number and that is the acknowledgement number. The third packet, as we can see here, there is no SYN flag set. That is from my client back to my server, still on port 80. The ACK flag for itself is set. And now we already established a connection. Let's see, it's still up and running. So what we can do now as well, we can see if this connection is really established. On Linux, that is proc, net, IP underscore contract. Oh, no, no. Contract, double M. And what we see here, established connection from this IP address to that IP address. And that is actually SSH as a destination port. But we also see the same IP addresses on port 80, which is the HTTP connection. Pretty easy. My talent connection on port 80. So now, in this case, we have seen the three-way handshake also in TCP dump. Meaning, if you're not able to establish a connection, it's pretty nice and easy to see if there is more than just a SYN packet. If you just see a SYN packet, nothing else, you can be sure there's something in between which is blocking that connection. It could also mean that the servers, let us, let's say the Apache servers, is not running on this machine. Under normal circumstances, if that's a TCP connection and the Apache is not running, the operating system would send a TCP reset. If it's a UDP connection, 
the operating system would send an ICMP port unreachable message. But talking about um, the error messages, the TCP reset, as well as the ICMP port unreachable, is going to be part of the next podcast videos. I hope you enjoyed watching that video today. Um, we're going to bring out new videos the next upcoming weeks and stay tuned.